Today we have something very special here, this is the Marshall Minor 2 Bluetooth earbuds. Marshall Bluetooth headphones are very popular but there wasn't anything you can fit in your pocket until now. Says here on the box it's got Bluetooth APTX connectivity, 12 hours of wireless playtime that remains to be seen, ear fit system I wonder how that works, the very popular multi-directional control knob makes its reappearance here very nice. Magnetic pause function so when you snap the earbuds together, your music pauses as well. Very nice. I can't wait to open this up. So let's do it right now. Oh, it looks really nice. Deep black. Take a look. How's that for a pair of earbuds? box contains some literature, a micro USB to USB cable, the micro USB has an angled joint. It's pretty long. This is probably like one meter. Interesting. The minor two Bluetooth earbuds. Okay, let's zoom in so you can see. So you can probably see the Marshall logo on the brass. Very nice. And this is, of course, the microphone and control unit. So no buttons except for this one brass knob. This is a very popular feature of Marshall Bluetooth headphones. It's one knob that takes care of everything, your volume controls, music controls, call controls, and even Bluetooth pairing is all taken care of. So all these controls can be performed by clicking the button, moving the knob sideways, and up and down. So it's very intuitive, very nice. This is the micro USB charging port. The charging cable goes in here. Snaps into place. These have only one tip size. And it doesn't look like they are made of silicon. It's more like a, a softer kind of hard rubber. And it looks like a permanent fixture. You can't remove it, and so you cannot replace it. But this has got one very smart feature. It uses the cable as a stability fin. Very smart. And you can even adjust it so that the earbuds fit different ear sizes and remain stable in your ear. I don't know how well this will work, but this is very smart design. Oh, and one more thing. These earbuds are better than the other Marshall Bluetooth headphones in one important way. They are the only ones that support Bluetooth 5.0. So if your device supports Bluetooth 5.0, you're gonna enjoy better Bluetooth connection, better Bluetooth reception, compared to all the other devices out there that use the current standard of Bluetooth 4.0 or 4.2. Now, I'm expecting these earbuds to have the same heavy rock and roll sound of the mid Bluetooth, or at least the major three Bluetooth. But there's only one way to find out. Okay, so let's play a song. It sounds very bright. Quite surprising. I didn't expect it to sound this bright. Maybe a little too bright for my liking. And there isn't a lot of bass. I think this is because the earbuds are not noise isolating. They don't exactly seal your ear canal. So it's not going to give you a lot of bass. Quite interesting. I wasn't expecting this. The earbuds do have quite a bit of track separation, a pretty clean sounding tool in the mid range and high range. It's got a pretty decent bass quality overall, but it's not gonna be as bassy as other noise isolating earbuds, such as the BioPlay E8, for example, or even the JBL3. But I do feel that its bright sound signature can also work to its advantage. It can make music, or rather, certain kinds of music sound a lot more energetic and slightly more enjoyable to listen to but it is not going to give you the same heavy uh, rock and roll uh, golden sound quality that Marshall headphones especially the Bluetooth headphones are famous for and it's quite unfortunate that at this price point of 130 USD or 229 Singapore dollars you don't get an app that lets you uh, tweak and customize the sound further to your liking. I think this is one aspect that Jaybird earbuds are stronger at. For instance, the Jaybird Run sounds terrible out of the box, but the My Sound app allows you to tweak the sound to your liking so that it doesn't sound all that terrible. Whereas in this situation, you don't get that option at all. Oh, and also, when you're playing audio on most Marshall Bluetooth headphones, you will get some sort of a 
background hiss. Of course, it's a very small background hiss and it won't interfere with your listening experience, but you sort of know that it's there when your music stops. So I know that some people might be hoping that this issue, if I can even call it an issue, will be resolved with the introduction of Bluetooth 5 in this pair of headphones, but no, it's still there. If I snap the earbuds together, that should pause the music. Let's try that. Yeah, it works. Play. No? Oh, okay, so it doesn't play automatically, it only pauses. I think this feature is quite useful. I don't have to keep the earbuds in my pocket. After I'm done listening to them, I can simply snap them in place. Right now, I'm playing one of my own videos on YouTube. And yes, I'm using aptx codec. So let's begin. Pass! No audio video syncing delay. Perfect. How do these kids even do it? So overall, I think that... Well, there's a lot to like about these earbuds. Like Marshall has retained the iconic and very useful single knob design for its controls, the adjustable loop that serves as a stability fin that's very smart, Bluetooth 5.0 and APTX codec, these are more reasons to get them. But there are certain aspects of its design which I find so puzzling like why wouldn't they make the ear tips replaceable for hygiene reasons? And why wouldn't they make the ear tips noise isolating so that of course I get better noise isolation and in noisy places I don't have to turn up my volume so high and making the earbuds noise isolating like the JBL3 would make it much easier for them to achieve that iconic, golden, vintage rock and roll sound that people love Marshall headphones for. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that they sound terrible. These sound pretty decent, good even for its price. But it's not that iconic, heavy sound signature that Marshall headphones are famous for. In fact, they sound generic. That is, yes, that's the word, generic. So yeah, I think they sound pretty generic. So yeah, these are my first impressions of the Marshall Minor 2 Bluetooth earbuds. Still too early to say that it's my final verdict, so I will be using this for a couple of more weeks. And if my perspectives change, I will come back to you with another video. So please consider subscribing to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below and don't forget to ring the bell to join my notification squad because I upload videos every single week and this is the only way you'll get notified. And also smash that like button if you like this video and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you again in the next one. Face palm, out.